We're in the sand hills of Nebraska hunting with Goose Creek Outfitters uh, with the new Traditions G2 Outfitter. And uh, my buddy Mark Seidlinger just shot an incredible whitetail buck. And he lost an antler when he hit the ground. But we found out there was something a lot more going on with this deer. If you look, he's actually got a pedestal that's grown up like the base of a horn, like on a big horn sheep or an antelope. And he's got a hollow, very thin base on what we would normally call an antler. But it's more like a horn. It grows like a fingernail from the bottom and pushes up. But when this buck ran by us, he looked like a picket fence with all this stuff sticking up. When he hit the ground, this did break off, but you can see that it's very weak and fragile. So we had to do a little bit of investigating. Some people call these cactus bucks. Some people might call them a hermaphrodite. But when you come over and take a look, we soon see that he lost his testicles when he was very young. There's where his scrotum would be. And actually, if you grab it, you can actually feel both cords were there and severed. He might have done that on a fence or who knows what else might have happened. But it does have a penis. It is a male deer. It's got no testicles. And it led to some very strange antler development. Uh, just a real unique trophy in the outdoor world. And if you have a good look at him, look how narrow his neck is. You know, he's like a doe. He's never rubbed these because he would break them. Even when you look closely at them, he's got all the unique character and edges on them ever since they've grown and pushed up. There's velvet on them in different places. But the other thing to look at is look at the size of the body on this deer. He's never wasted any calories rutting, chasing does or anything. He's got a very rotund belly. His hind end is very square. He ate very well. So just a very unique deer here in the wilds of Nebraska.